Welcome everyone to a new video of the academic lecture series and today we are going to talk about sustainable development. In recent years you must have heard about the concept of sustainable development. To be honest, the idea of sustainable development now dominates the global development discourses and have contributed to the birth of sustainable development goals or SDGs which have become a global pledge for all the countries. Most of the contemporary academic and political discussions often refer to the Brundtland Report or Our Common Future as we know it, published in 1987 as the starting point of the discourses on sustainable development. But the term however has rather evolved for decades and it has its conceptual precursors. Apart from academic and political discourses, religions and indigenous traditions have historically connected the human world with the non-human world and with the nature. In the academic discourses, writings of scholars like Thomas Malthus in 18th century and E.F. Schumacher in 1970s also portrayed the human-induced exhaustion and depletion of natural resources of planet Earth. In the political discourses, sustainable development is said to have its root in the Stockholm Conference held in 1972. The conference was titled United Nations Conference on Human Environment that placed the emphasis on broader natural environment against the traditional focus on economic growth. The Club of Rome also championed the idea of limits to growth in early 1970s. It's important to note that the Club of Rome was founded in April 1968 by a small international group of people from the fields of academia, civil society, diplomacy, and industry. The Club of Rome is known for its limits to growth theory, which suggests that ecological limits are going to be exceeded soon with reckless advancement of the industrialized world. In 1970s, with the ideas from Stockholm Conference and the Club of Rome, there were growing concerns regarding the conciliation of environment and existing economic development. To put it another way, there was growing realization among the researchers and policymakers that development needs to be environment friendly. However, the importance of sustainability and conservation of natural resources and the natural environment was strongly reflected and the term sustainable development itself appeared for the first time in the World Conservation Strategy published by IUCN in cooperation with United Nations Environment Programme and World Wildlife Fund in 1980. Following all these preceding events, which we can call the precursors of the idea of sustainable development, World Commission on Environment and Development or WCED in 1987 published a report titled Our Common Future and defined sustainable development as the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The definition by WCED created a momentum that finally ushered in the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development or UNCED also known as the Rio Art Summit in 1992. The Rio Art Summit in 1992 made the term more politically acclaimed in a global scale. Since 1987 onwards, the WCED's definition of sustainable development has become the most cited and the most compact definition of sustainable development. It broadly talks about the progress that doesn't exhaust the non-renewable resources and cares about intergenerational use of valuable natural environment. Despite a broad political acceptance, academicians and researchers have termed sustainable development as dangerously vague a contested concept, an ambiguous concept, and an oxymoron. As academicians say, there are inherent contradictions between the ideas of economic growth and environmental sustainability in the very core of sustainable development. That can be discussed later in details in another video. For today, to end this video, we conclude with saying that sustainable development is one of the most important paradigms in the understanding of development in the contemporary world. And the concept of sustainable development is more relevant to our life in all the socio-economic as well as political aspects than ever. So this is it for today and I thank you for watching this Zimran behind the camera. You can subscribe my channel for more educational and informative videos like this.